Dear students, let us study the sub-concept of supernetting today. Supernetting is the opposite of subnetting, which is division of a network into smaller networks. In supernetting, multiple networks are combined into a bigger network termed as supernetwork or supernet. There are some important points which should be kept in mind while supernetting. All the IP addresses should be contiguous. Size of all the small networks should be equal and must be in the form of 2 raised to n. The first IP address should be exactly divisible by the whole size of supernet. So, basically, if I want to combine two smaller networks into a larger one, the concept is called as the supernetting. For example, if I have four smaller networks of class C with these particular IP addresses, that means 200.1.0.0, then 200.1.1.0, 200.1.2.0, and 200.1.3.0. All these, if they are belonging to four particular networks and I want to super net them, I have to apply the subnet mask and check whether they are contiguous and they are divisible by 2 raised to n. This particular problem is facilitating or it is satisfying all the conditions required. So, the four networks can be combined to finally give me 200.1.0.0 as a supernetting address. Also, let us see the advantages of supernetting. It is used to control and reduce the network traffic. It is helpful to solve the problem of lacking IP addresses. It minimizes the routing table. Disadvantages include it cannot cover different area of different networks. All the networks should be in the same class and all the IP addresses should be contagious. That is all about supernetting. Thank you.